Hi and welcome! In this video we are going to sketch the classic Land Rover Defender or how it's originally was called Land Rover 90. In my opinion it's one of the most iconic cars especially in the SUV segment. Originally it was developed in Britain in the 80s from the Land Rover series and it gained a worldwide reputation as one of the best off-road vehicles in the world. The original Defender was built from 1983 till 2016 for 33 years and sold over 2 million times. The vehicle was successful not only in the army but also popular between farmers, utility companies and later on in the movies like James Bond and Tom Prider. In general, there were many different versions of the Defender with all kind of different engines and package layouts like the extended wheelbase called 110 and 130 or even the pickup version. In my opinion, the most successful and well-known variation of the Land Rover Defender is the 90. Additionally, I was asked to sketch it and that is also the reason why I decided to present the process here on YouTube. Now let's talk about the illustration that I am working on. One of the most important steps of sketching is to position the sketch correctly on a paper that you are sketching on. I block in basic proportions of the Defender with just subtle lines and try to catch the right angle of the body position. If you want to learn how to sketch cars in general, Defender is perfect starting point. Because of its boxy construction and shapes, it's easier to control and sketch it. After the basic volumes are in place, I position the wheels at the right areas and try to catch the needed angle. During this illustration example, you will probably recognize the slowly increasing line precision and contrast. The reason behind it is also to make sure that all volumes are in the right place and I don't need to use the eraser on my sketch so it can stay clean and precise till the finish. Indication of the interior will help to lift the sketch to the next level, so it's simply more interesting for the viewer to look at the image. After the soft line work is done, I focus on even more precise lines and start slowly with shading of the vehicle. Additional details like mirrors, wipers, lights and badges can be added to the sketch. Further on, I add shading underneath the body on wheels, inner fenders and other technical parts which are covered in shadow due to the light conditions. A bit of shading on the ground will give additional stability to the sketch and help to plant the car at its wheels. I start to work on wheels and add more details to define spokes, center caps, bolts and the negative offset of this alloy wheel. If you enjoy seeing the creation process and want to see the final result of this illustration, please stay till the end of this video.
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't mind, leave a comment, click the like button and subscribe. It helps me out massively. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.